Good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully you're doing well and you had a good night's rest and you got a good day planned, whatever it may be. I'm going to be reading to you from the book, Then Sings My Soul. This is book number two. Uh, I'm going to read to you on Jordan's Stormy Banks. This song was written in 1787. Samuel Stennett, the Seventh-day Baptist who wrote on Jordan's Stormy Banks, originally titled it Heaven Anticipated, a sentiment that later comforted a dying 21-year-old spy. Sam Davis was a student in Nashville when the Civil War broke out. He joined the Confederate Army and, and proved such a fearless soldier that he was selected for an elite group of spies named Coleman's Scouts. Sam excelled as an undercover agent. Once he even shared a table at Nashville's St. Cloud Hotel with General William Rosecrans, listening to a discussion of Yankee battle plans. In November 1863, Sam was seized in Giles County, Tennessee, and thrown into jail. The maps and papers under his saddle exposed him as a spy. His captors uh, promised to spare his life if he would only reveal the identity of the mysterious Coleman. Sam refused, and it fell to Private C.B. Van Pelt to inform him of his sentence. I read him a copy of his death sentence, Van Pelt later said. A reprieve was extended, which I also read to him, if he would inform us where Coleman was. He stood before me, an uncowered, an uncrowned hero, his eyes flashing, and said, I will die a thousand deaths rather than betray my friends. We were both moved to tears and remained silent for a time. Unknown to the Yankee soldiers, Coleman was really Dr. H.B. Shaw, who at that moment was being held in an adjacent cell and who was later released. On the eve of his execution, Sam wrote to his dear mother saying, Oh, how painful it is to write to you. I have got to die tomorrow morning to be hanged by Federals, mother. Do not grieve for me. I must bid you goodbye forevermore. Chaplain James Young spent the day before the hanging praying with Sam. That night in a small worship service, Sam asked if they would sing on Jordan's stormy banks. Later, Young said he would never forget the young soldier's animated voice as he sang, I am bound for the promised land. I am bound for the promised land. Today, there is a monument honoring Sam Davis on the grounds of the Tennessee State Capitol. Underneath are the words, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. There's a lot there in that, in that uh, reading. It said that there was a, uh, a group of soldiers that were there standing off in the distance that could hear this young man say, I will uh, never betray my friends. And if you could imagine receiving a letter from uh, your son saying that uh, he was going to die the next morning, but the great thing was that he uh, could tell her that he was bound for the promised land. So someone asked me last week, uh, um, I've been able to go back into the rest homes and sing some, and someone asked me to sing this song there. So uh, we did, and we'll try to sing it here too. If I can read these words, they're kind of little. On Jordan's stormy banks I stand And cast a wishful eye To Canaan's fair and happy land Where my possessions lie I am bound for the promised land I'm bound for the promised land Oh, who will come and go with me I am bound 
for the promised land. O'er all those wide extended plains there's one eternal day. There God the sun forever reigns and scatters night away. I am bound for the promised land. I'm bound for the promised land. Oh, who will come and go with me? I am bound for the promised land. When I shall reach that happy place and be forever blessed, for I shall see my Father's face and in His bosom rest. I am bound for the promised land. I'm bound for the promised land poured over Jordan's stormy banks I am bound for the promised land well I hope you can say you're bound for the promised land as well um, for, for Saturday morning in this house we've got some kids uh, running around and uh, probably have breakfast here in a little while. Uh, hopefully um, you all will enjoy your day and uh, you know we won't be here tomorrow but you can tune in uh, to our Facebook page here or to my Facebook page and watch our service live from charity and everything goes right. Um, if you don't make that we'll see you again on Monday. God bless you folks.